In the heart of Southeast Asia, Indonesia is betting on a bold vision for the future. A sprawling new capital, New Sinatra, is set to rise on Borneo, the world's third largest island. A $35 billion mega project covering 256,000 hectares. Designed as a model of sustainability, the city will rely on 80% public transport, with plans to run entirely on renewable energy. This ambitious plan is spread across five phases, with full completion expected by 2045. However, the project faces significant hurdles with construction delays, spiraling costs, and budget constraints. As this unprecedented development unfolds, one wonders, will New Sinatra truly become Indonesia's capital of the future, or will its ambitions fade before they ever come to life? Indonesia's current capital, Jakarta, has been battling an escalating crisis. Its roads are choked with traffic, its air thick with pollution and its foundations slowly succumbing to the relentless pressures of time and nature. With nearly 10 million people packed into the capital, and over three times that number residing in the greater metropolitan area, Jakarta's infrastructure is buckling under overpopulation. But that's just one part of the equation. The land, once fertile and sturdy, now sinks deeper every year, pulled down by decades of unchecked groundwater extraction. Paired with rising sea levels, these forces are driving Jakarta to an inevitable conclusion. Much of the city could be submerged within the next few decades. The overwhelming strain on Jakarta has left the Indonesian government facing an uncomfortable question. Can it be saved, or must it be left behind? The solution in their eyes was radical and transformative. A new capital city, New Sinatra. Back in 2019, Indonesia's government introduced its ambitious vision to relocate the nation's capital to the island of Borneo. The move was about creating a fresh start, a capital designed to be a sustainable, environmentally conscious metropolis, far from the sinking shores of Java. The project aimed to alleviate the burden on Jakarta while symbolizing the new era for the country. With its modern infrastructure and grand visions of green spaces and carbon-neutral developments, New Sinatra was supposed to be the answer to Indonesia's looming urban crisis. The idea had long roots in Indonesia's history. As far back as the mid-20th century, leaders recognized the over-dependence on Java. Yet, it wasn't until recent years that the scale of the problem became undeniable, forcing the current leadership to take drastic action. The timeline was set. Phases of development stretching over decades, with the first building scheduled to be operational before the next presidential term. But the road to New Sinatra was anything but smooth. From the moment the plan was set in motion, it faced a series of massive challenges. Funding became a major obstacle, with foreign investors pulling out and domestic interest waning. Construction delays, environmental concerns, and political resistance began to slow the project's momentum. However, as the world watches New Sinatra take shape, curiosity grows. What will the city that replaces Jakarta truly look like? Construction kicked off in July 2022, marking the beginning of a five-phase process, with each phase carefully designed to shape the city's essential infrastructure. The first phase, the Government Central Area Zone, is currently underway and focuses on the core structures that will house Indonesia's government offices. This area will feature state-of-the-art facilities, including the Presidential Palace, administrative buildings, and housing complexes for civil servants. With a total area of 68.56 square kilometers, it's designed to be a high-functioning nerve center for the nation. One of the early focuses of the construction was ensuring accessibility to the remote site. Workers began by clearing land and constructing essential access roads to transport materials and equipment efficiently. These access roads, though practical, have presented their own challenges. Weather conditions, particularly rain, often turn the unpaved roads into muddy quagmires, slowing down the progress. Yet teams of engineers and workers continue to push forward, determined to keep the project on schedule. A key aspect of the design is its environmental focus. New Sinatra is intended to be a green city, relying heavily on renewable energy sources such as wind, solar, and hydroelectric power. To ensure the sustainability of the new capital, 
65% of the area is planned for reforestation, a move aimed at offsetting the environmental impact of the construction. In line with this vision, several dams and water management systems are under construction to secure the city's water supply and protect the area from potential flooding. As the city rises from the ground, another innovative element comes into play, the use of stilted buildings and elevated walkways. This design is intended to harmonize with the local topography, characterized by hilly terrain and dense forests. The elevated structures not only provide stunning views, but also enhance airflow and reduce the need for energy-intensive cooling systems. In fact, much of the city's design mimics the natural canopy of the surrounding rainforest, allowing for better air circulation and the dispersal of rainwater to avoid erosion. But the technical challenges don't stop there. One of the biggest hurdles in this phase of the project is dealing with the region's clay-rich soil. This type of soil can be particularly unstable and requires extensive treatment to support large structures such as the proposed high-rise government buildings. Engineers are using advanced soil stabilization techniques to ensure that the city's foundations remain secure, even in the face of heavy rainfall and shifting terrain. With thousands of workers on site, the scale of the manpower involved is staggering. About 100,000 workers were mobilized from across Indonesia, but concerns about underemployment among locals prompted a swift change. The workforce has now expanded to include 150,000 to 200,000 people from the local area, a move designed to ensure greater community participation and faster construction progress. Amidst this rapid development, the Presidential Palace stands as a focal point, both architecturally and symbolically. Shaped like a Garuda bird, the emblem of Indonesia, this structure is designed to inspire awe and reflect the country's cultural heritage. It's situated at the heart of New Sinatra, surrounded by government offices, cultural parks, and public spaces that will form the nucleus of this new capital. However, the construction of New Sinatra while moving forward faces several significant setbacks. Unpredictable weather conditions and spiraling costs have caused delays, raising doubts about whether the project can meet its ambitious deadlines. The total budget for New Sinatra is estimated at $35 billion, with the government committing to cover only 20% of the cost. This leaves the remaining funds dependent on private investments, both domestic and foreign. Efforts to attract foreign investors have faced difficulties, with many hesitant due to economic uncertainties in the vast scope of the project. To address the financial challenges, the government has offered incentives such as tax breaks and long-term land concessions to entice investors. Despite these measures, the funding gap continues to be a major concern, threatening to slow progress even further. Beyond the financial strain, technical challenges have also emerged, particularly concerning the massive infrastructure required to support a city of this scale in such a remote location. Environmental and social issues have added further complications. New Sinatra's location on Borneo, home to rich rainforests and diverse wildlife, has raised alarms among environmentalists and local communities. Concerns about large-scale deforestation and the displacement of indigenous peoples continue to fuel criticism of the project. Although the government has claimed the construction adheres to strict environmental regulations, many fear the development could cause irreversible harm to the ecosystem. The decision to move the capital and build new Sinatra has not been universally welcomed. Critics argue that the project lacks sufficient public input and transparency and the rapid decision-making process has sidelined affected communities. This compromise failure threatens to undermine public trust and the project's legitimacy, making it harder to secure long-term support for such an ambitious undertaking. While the goal is to have key parts of the city operational by 2024, when the presidential office is set to move, this milestone is only the beginning. Full completion is expected by 2045 to align with Indonesia's 100th anniversary of independence. But with every delay, the timeline and budget risk further disruption, turning the race for completion into a far more uncertain journey. Ultimately, the construction of New Sinatra is a high-stakes race against time, money, and nature itself. The vision for a sustainable, technologically advanced city is awe-inspiring, but the road to its completion is fraught with challenges. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, 
subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates on the world's biggest projects and developments.